For a long time, um, you know, immune therapy was not effective at all. And now that we finally do have effective immune therapies, it's very important that we know which patients are most likely to benefit from them so that we can make sure that patients who are going to benefit from those immune treatments do receive them and that we might prioritize other uh, treatments or different approaches for patients who are not likely uh, to benefit. For example, um, with ipilimumab or Yervoy, about uh, maybe 5% will have a, com a long-term response, 20% are alive at two years. Now we're seeing with anti-PD-1, the latest data suggests that 40% may be alive at two years, but that's still not enough. <laughs> and we really want to uh, you know, develop agents that are going to really help everyone, and we want to prioritize giving uh, immune treatments to people who are most likely to benefit from them. So I think that if we're able to ad advance, target those specific patients who have immune profiles that show that they are likely to respond to these agents, then that would be a great advance.